Hello, recently on talkgraphics.com, a uh, new member legend asked about the uh, shadow tool and in particular the glow shadow tool. So I thought um, we'll have a closer look at it. Um, okay, uh, this is uh, a circle filled um, with a, an image of a, a penny. It's not a bitmap, it says one shape if you look down the, the bottom left hand corner here. Um, so uh, just to prove that if you go into the fill tool you can see that uh, you can see where the fill comes from it says up here that's a bitmap um, if I put a flat fill in make it uh, purple you can see that um, it is in fact a shape and uh, not a bitmap uh, that's important because a bitmap is always square but of course uh, I want to apply a circular shadow to this uh, to this thing so what I'll do is just uh, step back a bit undo that and there we have this circle filled with a um, bitmap fill of a pound select that um, select the shadow tool um, we've got a wall shadow um, floor shadow and glow shadow um, none of that that you can actually see at all uh, if I click on there it says one shape if I click here it says one shadow and you can see that the shadow is black and that's why you can't see it so if I'll just make it purple for a minute uh, I don't know how clear this will be on uh, on a YouTube video but you can actually see a, a slight purple color there um, let's just make that uh, a bit clearer um, I'll go up um, change the, the transparency to zero so you can and the size of it to um, 40 pixels and hopefully now you can see that that's um, quite clearly on this ch on this uh, YouTube video right so there you have it if I want to change the color of that um, that glow shadow um, sorry I've got the shape selected there you gotta make sure that you've got the what the shadow selected you got to look down the bottom left hand corner here it says one shadow now I've got the one sh uh, the shadow selected I can go along the color bar and I can um, select any color I want we select, select this color um, that's not too bad um, and then go back to the shadow tool and you can select the how much blur is applied to it and how much transparency is applied to it so that's quite versatile um, it, it goes beyond that. You can actually go into the um, fill tool and apply a, a linear fill to it. There's a linear fill, and it's not very exciting. Let's make the middle white um, and that orange. So you've now got this orange to white to blue linear fill. Um, so it's it's a very versatile tool that you can actually see as as you're working on it um, exactly what it looks like and how you can adjust it anyway i hope this helped i hope this helped thanks for watching this is egg good night